everyone and welcome back to another Bible story video. This week's hero of the Bible is Joshua. The walls that fell. Joshua had been Moses' second in command for many years. Finally, it was time for Joshua to take his place. Be strong and courageous, God said. Be careful to obey the law I gave Moses and you will be successful. I will be with you wherever you go. So Joshua led the people across the Jordan River. It would be his job to lead the Hebrews into Canaan, the land God had promised them. People were already living there, so there would be many battles. The first one took place at Jericho. It was a strong city with a wall around it 25 feet high and 20 feet thick. Joshua sent two spies to Jericho to check it out. While they were there, a woman named Rahab risked her life by hiding them from the king. Her house was next to the city wall, so she helped them escape through a window. She made them promise to spare her when they conquered Jericho. We have heard how your God parted the Red Sea, she said. The people have melted away because your God is God in heaven and earth. Joshua had an army of 40,000 men and he was ready to go. Everyone is afraid of us, the spies told him. Let's take the city. But God wanted the Hebrews to know that he would help them conquer the whole land. So God gave them some unusual directions about how to conquer Jericho. He told them to march around the city once a day for six days. Priests carrying trumpets were to lead the march. Then on the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times, blowing on the trumpets. When they finished, the priests were to blow the trumpets for one long, loud blast. Then the men were to shout. So that's exactly what they did. When they had marched around the city for seven days and blown the trumpets on the last day, Joshua commanded the people to shout, and the walls came tumbling down. The men marched straight into the city and destroyed everyone except Rahab and her family. Then all the other people in Canaan were afraid. God had helped the Hebrews. A good report. Caleb was one of Joshua's best friends. As young men, the two of them were sent with a group of spies to Canaan to see if it was safe for the Hebrews to enter. The other spies came back with bad reports. They thought it was too dangerous. They even claimed that there were giants in the land. But Caleb said they should do as God commanded and go forward. Joshua agreed. Of all the men alive that day, only Joshua and Caleb eventually entered the land. The oldest city in the world. People have lived in Jericho longer than any other city in the world, about 11,000 years. It is an oasis in the Jordan Valley, and it was called the City of Palms. After it was destroyed by Joshua, it lay in ruins for over a thousand years before it was rebuilt. The Promised Land When the Hebrews left Egypt, they returned to Canaan, the land God had promised Abraham. It was the Promised Land. The spies they sent ahead described Canaan as a country flowing with milk and honey. They returned with a bunch of grapes so large two men had to carry it. Music as a weapon. Like Joshua, Jehoshaphat used an unusual battle tactic. The choir marched in front of his army singing a hymn to God. When the enemy soldiers heard the music, they started fighting each other and destroyed themselves. Jehoshaphat had depended on God and believed him when God promised victory. Well, I hope you enjoyed and learned something. And as always, you are invited to Sunday School at Pasco Community Baptist Church Sunday mornings at 10.